Step aside, old world memes. Enter a revolution where a robot once mocked now emerges as a trailblazer in modern robotics. Elon Musk declared, I think Optimus will ultimately be the most valuable part. And I think has a good chance of being the most valuable product ever made. And it's hard to argue with the results we're witnessing. Tesla's Optimus Gen 3 has journeyed from the realm of skepticism to a stage where it performs over 1,000 tasks with a natural, almost human grace. The future of automation is here, and it's transforming production lines and households alike. Like in 2026, it's, it's really the kind of thing where you, you could tell it to do a, a wide range of tasks. Up to now, the Tesla bot, Optimus Gen 3, is no longer just an exciting concept. It's becoming a major driving force for Tesla, with the potential to completely reshape the global market. What was once met with skepticism is now gaining serious respect, all thanks to Tesla's relentless pursuit of human-like performance and real-world utility. And let's be honest, for a while people laughed at the idea. Optimus was a meme. It moved like a toddler in ski boots and got compared to your uncle trying not to slip on a wet floor. But that's no longer the case. Elon Musk and his team have just dropped the major update, and it's not an exaggeration to say it's flipping the entire narrative. So how is Tesla turning a robot meme into a movement? By doing exactly what Tesla does best, proving people wrong, with results. What started as a clunky prototype that drew laughs is now evolving into something that commands attention. Each new version of Tesla Optimus is leaner, faster, smarter, and more capable in real-world environments. Tesla's turning skepticism into momentum, mean status into mainstream significance. Tesla now plans to deploy Optimus Gen 3 directly onto the CyberCab production line at its massive Giga Texas facility. The robot will take on repetitive, labor-intensive tasks that would traditionally require two or even three human workers. This kind of automation not only boosts efficiency, it redefines the very structure of the production line. At Giga Texas, Optimus will be responsible for lifting, assembling, and transporting vehicle components. That means fewer workplace injuries, lower labor costs, and faster production cycles. In a market where speed equals survival, that's a game-changing win. If you've seen the latest clip Elon shared, you'll know something's different. Optimus now walks like a regular person, not just in the factory, but inside your home. Gone are the awkward bent knees and stiff movements. In their place, a smooth, natural stride with heel-to-toe steps, relaxed arm swings, and an upright posture. Milan Kovac, head of the Optimus Project, shared, Our latest walk, straight knees, smoother heel-to-toe gait and arm sway, just chilling around entirely trained in simulation with RL. Think about it, Optimus was entirely trained using reinforcement learning and simulation. That means it didn't learn to walk through lines of code. It learned by doing billions of times over, improving with every step. This isn't pre-programmed performance, it's AI in motion, learning, adapting, evolving. At first glance, the bent knee walk looked like a design failure, but anyone in robotics will tell you it's all about center of gravity. A lower stance helps early stage robots stabilize themselves, especially while their balance algorithms are still developing. It reduces the risk of falling. It was never about form over function, but now Tesla has moved beyond that phase. They can finally focus on elegance, not just safety. And the public? They've noticed. A robot that moves naturally is a robot people will accept more quickly, in homes, in public Public spaces everywhere. Originally limited to around 0.98 meters per second, Optimus was fast enough for basic tasks but not exactly efficient. With recent updates, Tesla is now targeting 2.32 meters per second, nearly matching the average human walking speed. This is incredibly important because as you know speed isn't just about movement, it's about utility. A faster moving robot can complete more tasks, adapt more quickly, and better match the rhythm of human environments. And when speed is combined with grace, that's a game changer. Let's take a closer look at Tesla's operations, specifically the CyberCab production line at Giga Texas. Elon Musk has confirmed that Optimus will be a core part of that assembly process. And in the near future, the Austin, Texas factory, where Tesla currently produces vehicles like the Model 3 and Model Y, and is expected to produce the Cybertruck, is an also one where the company is testing advanced technologies including robotics and next-gen automation. Imagine this. Instead of needing two or three workers for certain tasks, 
you deploy a single robot train to handle it all. That's not theoretical. Tesla is actively testing Optimus in real factory environments, and it's learning. These tasks often demand extreme precision and can quickly wear down human workers. Optimus, on the other hand, can perform them consistently, 24 per 7. In Tesla's production test facilities, Optimus has been trained to identify and sort small automotive parts based on function, size, and required torque. By using data from its camera system and reinforcement learning, Optimus improved its accuracy by 40% in just three days, without a single new line of code. This integration reduces downtime, boosts efficiency, and allows employees to focus on higher-level tasks. It marks the beginning of a larger shift, the collaboration between humans and robots, not just automation. So far, Tesla's Optimus has become the company's ace in the hole when it comes to practical AI. The same neural network and data pipeline powering full self-driving are now helping Optimus understand the physical world. Combined with the Dojo supercomputer, Optimus isn't just reacting, it's learning. This continuous improvement loop gives Tesla a unique edge. Most robotics companies can't iterate as quickly because they lack data. So how is Tesla going about creating this affordable robot? The, the Tesla team is are making uh, great progress uh, in one year building a couple of machines, you know, from scratch. You know, that's remarkable. Uh, they're shining a spotlight on the importance of this technology, which we've been arguing for 30 years. Tesla isn't starting from scratch. They're reusing motors, drivetrains, and batteries from their EV lineup. This supply chain advantage and vertical integration are key to achieving their $20,000 target price. For the cost of a used car, you could have a robot that washes dishes, folds clothes, or assembles car parts. In a pilot program in the suburbs of Austin, Texas, Tesla showcased a prototype of Optimus in trials. Reports indicate it successfully performed basic tasks, like bringing groceries into the house, washing dishes, vacuuming, mopping, brewing coffee, cooking, and even serving drinks directly to people. These are real-world use cases, tested up until today. The key is that Optimus learns the way we do, through trial, error, and adaptation. That's reinforcement learning. Instead of coding every single movement, Tesla allows the robot to learn in simulation. It can make thousands of mistakes without ever touching the real world. Then, when it enters the factory or a home, it's already been trained. This means fewer mistakes, faster improvements, and greater reliability in the real world. Assuming things go well, we 10x that, that output next year. So we'll aim to do maybe 50 to 100,000 ro uh, humanoid robots next year, and then 10x it again following year. It's like 500,000 robots in three years. Elon Musk calls it the Roman Legion model. 5,000 units by 2025, 50,000 by 2026. That's not just ambition, that's production scale. Tesla is building the foundation to deploy quickly across various industries. So far, the Tesla Optimus isn't just a hardware upgrade. Gen 3 represents a fundamental shift, smarter walking, better balance, smoother movement, faster processing through Dojo. Right now, it performs over 1,000 tasks, from loading machines to folding shirts. That level of versatility isn't just impressive, it's profitable, and it's learning more every day to better fit into individual households. Optimus is no longer just a robot, it's more, lie, a roommate. Picture an elderly couple owning an Optimus unit to help with daily routines. It fetches their medication, responds to voice commands, and even reminds them of appointments. They describe it as, less of a utility, more of a presence. That's the emotional layer. Connection, trust, familiarity. It's here to lead. From the way it walks to the speed at which it learns, Optimus Gen 3 is the closest humanoid assistant we've ever seen, commercially speaking. Tesla isn't rushing to launch Optimus just yet, and that's a good thing. Instead of pushing it into the market prematurely, they are allowing the robots to train in their own production environments. By doing so, Optimus collects valuable real-world data, adjusting and fine-tuning its abilities to perform various tasks. If the testing proves successful, Optimus will move beyond simple duties like cleaning or organizing parts. It could eventually take on pivotal roles in electric vehicle assembly lines. Last year, there were reports suggesting that Optimus was still being operated remotely, sparking doubts about its autonomy upon release. After all, if a humanoid robot still needs a human to control it, how practical is it really? Imagine this, you buy an Optimus, excited for it to help with everyday tasks, only to find out you have to manually program each action. This process could take weeks, maybe even months, 
Frustrating, right? A robot that can't think or adapt on its own isn't much of an asset. But here's where some people misunderstand. Tesla isn't remotely controlling Optimus because it's not ready. They're doing it because it's the quickest way to enhance its AI. Just like humans, Optimus learns through observation and repetition. Instead of needing every action to be pre-programmed, it learns by watching examples, recognizing patterns and executing tasks it wasn't specifically taught to do. This method of learning is how Tesla is speeding up Optimus's development and making it smarter faster. Get to the point where it can watch a video of something like a person and then learn just by looking at that video and, and do that task. This opens the door to a groundbreaking possibility. Tesla could be the first company to roll out humanoid robots on an industrial scale. If Optimus proves its value in Tesla's own factories, there's no reason it couldn't find applications across countless industries. We wouldn't be surprised if major corporations start queuing up to place orders. Companies that overlook the potential of Optimus in their production lines could soon find themselves falling behind their competitors. Recent tests have shown that Optimus can climb stairs and navigate uneven terrain. Sure, its speed is still pretty limited, but the way it reacts to different surfaces is a solid sign that it could handle rough landscapes, steep slopes, and maybe even some mysterious Martian caves. Who knows? Maybe Optimus will even help us find clues about extraterrestrial life. Just kidding. But what truly sets Optimus apart is its ability to think and learn. It's not just a robotic explorer. It can analyze minerals, search for key resources like frozen water, and adapt to unpredictable challenges. One thing we're really curious about, how will Optimus charge its battery if it doesn't have its own dedicated charging station? While Tesla Optimus can easily plug into the grid or existing charging stations, the situation becomes much more complicated in extreme environments, like mining tunnels or if it gets stuck in a remote desert location with no power infrastructure. Keeping Optimus powered up in such places would present a massive challenge. When Tesla first introduced Optimus in 2022, it was a rough prototype set, powered by a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery using standard 2170 cells. The design was bulky and far from refined. Back then, Tesla's game-changing 4680 battery technology wasn't quite ready. But now, everything has changed. Tesla has quietly upgraded Optimus with the 4680 battery. And while the complete specifications haven't been officially released, the details that have surfaced are already impressive. The 4680 battery is more than just an upgrade. It's a monumental technological advancement. With four times the energy density of the 2170 cells, it allows Optimus to store significantly more power with without increasing in size. Even more crucial, production costs have been reduced by 27%, setting the stage for a future where millions of Optimus bots can be produced at a much lower cost. The results? A faster, stronger, and more durable Optimus. Its weight has dropped by 22 pounds, from 160 to 138. Its runtime has been extended to a full 12 hours, and the new 3 kilowatt hour battery now provides enough power for an entire workday, without the need for a recharge. But here's the wildest part. Optimus doesn't need any human intervention to charge. It finds its way to the charger, lines itself up, connects automatically, and once it's fully charged, it unplugs and gets back to work without a second thought. And get this, while an electric vehicle typically takes 30 to 40 minutes to fully charge, Optimus with its compact sub 3 kilowatt hour battery can reach 100% in just 10 minutes or even less. But hey, that's on Earth. Now, when it comes to Mars, things get more complicated. One potential solution could be solar power, as Mars still gets sunlight, just not as much as Earth. The challenge? Martian dust can easily cover up solar panels, drastically reducing their efficiency. Plus, if Optimus is operating at night or in low-light conditions, it could require fuel cells or some cutting-edge energy storage technology to keep running smoothly. In fact, we're already witnessing this transition happening right before our eyes. Humanoid robots are no longer confined to flashy tech showcases. They're steadily entering real-world applications. In industries like manufacturing, they're showing up on car assembly lines and warehouse floors. In healthcare, they're assisting with elderly care. And even in our homes, the concept of robots that clean, cook, or look after pets is becoming less of a far-off dream and more of a tangible reality. Optimus' ability to autonomously find and connect to charging stations is a huge leap forward in robotic autonomy. For instance, in extreme conditions such as a remote desert or mining operation, where power sources may be limited, this self-charging capability could prove vital. So imagine a robot that doesn't just perform tasks but learns from its surroundings. 
what will Optimus be capable of once it masters these real-world environments, from homes to hostile terrains? Could Optimus, with its ability to charge itself and adapt instantly, become the ultimate tool for industries across the globe? As Optimus Gen 3 continues to evolve learning, adapting, and integrating into our world, the opportunities seem endless. How do you see this leap in technology affecting everyday life? We want to hear your thoughts. Subscribe, share this video, and let us know in the comments how you'd envision your future with a smart, self-charging assistant by your side. The revolution has begun. Be a part of it.